Hey guys, welcome back to part 8 of the notifications tutorial. So in part 1 of this video series, we created our two notification channels, which we then used to send our notifications over them. But there is a bit more we can do with notification channels, for example grouping them together. And that's what we are going to do in this video. Notification channel groups only have organizational purposes, so they don't add any new features, but they can be very useful in some situations. For example, let's say you create an app that supports multiple user accounts, where the different accounts have notification channels with similar functionality and similar names. Then we need a way to make these channels distinguishable for the user. And that's what notification channel groups are for. As you can see here, we have one notification group called Personal and one called Business. And they both have two notification channels with the same name. And when the user goes into the settings and wants to make changes to his notification channels, he can immediately see which channel belongs to which account. So let's go into Android Studio and see how we can create these notification channel groups. For this we go into our app class, where we created our notification channels in the first part. And this is the place where we also create our notification channel groups. For this let's create some more constants. We create another public static final string, psfs, enter. If this live template doesn't work for you, just type it out. And we call the first one group1 one id. And we set it to group1. Let's copy it for the second one. Change the name. And let's create two more notification channels. Channel 3. And channel 4. We will put the first two notification channels into group 1. We will put channel 3 into group 2. And for our channel 4 we won't set a group at all to see what happens to this channel then. And we do this in our create notification channels method. Inside this if block where we check for Oreo, we create a notification channel group object. Let's call it group 1 equals new notification channel group. And this looks pretty similar to our notification channel objects, but here we only have to pass two arguments. First the ID of the group for which we use our constants, comma, and the name of the group in form of a char sequence. We're just gonna call it group1. And this is what you saw in the opening example as personal and business. We close it with a semicolon, and let's copy this notification channel group for group2. So we change the variable name to group tour, the idea, and the name. And then we go down to our notification channels. We go below channel one dot set description and call channel one dot set group. And we pass our group one idea. And now this notification channel will be put into group one. And later we can't change this association anymore. So after we put it into a group, we can't decide to put it into another group instead. So if you are testing your app and you want to make changes to these groups, you have to uninstall and reinstall the app. Okay, and we put our channel tour into a group one as well. And then we copy our channel one and channel tour, paste it below for channel three and four. So we change the variable name to a channel three. We pass channel three idea. We change the name to channel three and the description as well. We want to put it into a group tour. And we have to change this variable name here as well to three. And the same for our channel four. Variable name, channel idea, channel name, channel description. And we said that we don't want to put this into a group at all, but we have to change this to channel four. Okay, and now at the bottom below where we assign our manager variable, but before we create our notification channels, we have to create our groups with create notification channel group, where we pass our group one, and then we do the same for group two. And of course we have to create our other two notification channels, channel three and four. And that's all we have to do. This is the whole magic behind creating notification channel groups and sorting notification channels into them. So let's test it. Okay, so I had to uninstall the app to apply the changes. And to get to the settings, I'm gonna send a notification. Long click on it and click on all categories. Which brings us to the channel screen. And as you can see, we have our group one with channel one and two. We have our group two with channel three, just as we set it up. And as you can see, our channel 4, where we didn't set a group, is sorted into a group called other. 
So this is where all the channels go that don't have a group at all. Okay, if this was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for upcoming parts of the notifications tutorial. Take care.